Hello everyone, I am Fabricio Laguna, also known as the Brazilian BA, and today I come here to ask you the question, what is a methodology? I have been working with that for the last 20 years, but I still ask myself about that. I have been helping some really great companies to redefine or adjust their methodologies of doing some kind of work. If we look for the origin of the word method, method comes from Greek, it means the path to find out an end. So the method, method is how do you reach the outcome you're looking for. If we think about methodology, so we are talking about the study of methods, but usually when an organization says they have a methodology, they don't say they are studying methods uniquely, they say they are applying different methods that they have studied and applied to their own situation, for, for their own context. In my experience, good methodologies emerge from practice. Organizations are trying to enhance the way they are doing the repeatable work in their organization and they create their own methodology for do that. And you can create methodologies for do almost anything. Let's say, for an example, that I want to put this picture in the wall. So put a picture in the wall is a common job and you may have a methodology to do that. And What's a methodology format of? I think a methodology must have at least five components. First one is the processes. What's the processes to fix this picture in the wall? Well, the process would be a set of steps or a set of tasks that must be done. At first, I would decide where to put this picture and mark it on the wall in the right place. Then I should study the viability of fixing it in the wall and are there pipes on the wall that may be damaged if I make a hole there. So I have to study my blueprints and see what's there inside of the wall. Then I, based on what I have studied, I will decide what type of way I will fix that picture in the wall. Should I use a screw? Should I use a nail? Maybe some glue or uh, double-sized uh, tape. Uh, there are different types of ways of fixing uh, uh, something in the wall. Let's say that I choose uh, this one, so I have to make the hole and put it there. So there's a set of steps until I find the outcome I'm expecting for. In the same way there is in, a, in the business analyst job, we also have a process for that. Well, I would say we start by defining business requirements, then we study different options to reach those business requirements, like we do a, a viability study and see what's probably the best option, and then we have to specify the requirements solution requirements and so and so on and so on, right? There is a process for every methodology. Process is the first component. The second component would be the roles and responsibilities. In my case, for putting the picture on the wall, my wife would probably define the place where the, the, the picture is. My oldest son is studying engineering, so I would ask him to analyze the viability and see where the pipes goes and I would probably be, be the one who would fix the nail. In a business analyst, analysis methodology we would probably have the sponsor defining their business requirements, we would have someone studying the financial aspects of the these initiatives, we will have a product owner defining the solution requirements, a tech lead defining what should be uh, delivered in, in, in which way, and UX specialist, a developer, a tester, we have a lot of roles and responsibilities in those kinds of, of methodologies. The third component of a methodology would be deliverables, products and deliverables. Let's say that the definition of the place in the wall is some deliverable. The av av viability studies would 
create some kind of documentation or some kind of assessment report from my son saying that, that that's fine. I should probably fulfill some tools request if I'm borrowing or if I'm renting the tools I need for the job and so on and so on. It depends on the kind of organization I am. If the risks are too high, I will probably have more formal deliverables than in an organization with very low risk. In my house, for example, those deliverables would be very simple. But if I'm trying to make a, a, a hole in a wall, in a nuclear power plant, I would probably have too much more bureaucracy to do that because the risk is very higher. So we have different organizations with different levels of formality on those deliverables. The fourth element of a methodology would be the tools. So this is a tool, this is a tool, the pencil is also a tool. My son would probably use some AutoCAD to look at the blueprints and understand what's going on. We also have some tools as business analysts. We may use our project and program management tool. We can use Jira, we can use Trello to control Kanban's uh, wiki page, some enterprise architecture uh, picturing tool, or the most used tool, tools for uh, almost all business analysts that are the Microsoft Office Word and Excel tools. All those uh, tools are available, in our cases, more often software. And the fifth and last component of a methodology, I would say, are the techniques. If I want to put a nail in the wall and I don't want to hurt my finger, I must be able to do that and I must control the right technique for that. There are different techniques for each task that must be done during uh, processes. So, like for us, if we think about business analysts, you must do an interview, you must lead a workshop, you probably do some financial analysis and try to understand what's the payback of an initiative or the internal rate return, stuff like that. You may use user stories to define your, your specification, you may use use case depending on your project, you may use ATDD to define the acceptance user criteria for your user stories and there are a lot of techniques available to be used in your methodology. What's the best one? That's something that you have to think in your context for your organization. What I recommend you is that you look around you and see all the available frameworks and good practices that are available in the market and adapt those for your organization. So the methodology will be specific for your context and for your needs.